Hello, I'm Jim Glidewell. Implants have been a revolution for restorative dentistry. Their modern origins, as you may know, are chiefly attributed to Per Ingvar Brannemark and a poor little bunny he was experimenting on in 1952. He had inserted a titanium implant chamber to study blood flow in the rabbit's leg bones, only to discover that after three months of attachment, the titanium had fused with the bone so completely that it could not be removed. He coined this phenomena osseo integration. I think the bunny became known as Hopalong. While things didn't go as expected for the rabbit, Brandemark's discovery opened a brand new field of investigation that culminated in the introduction of root form dental implants. The research to perfect this new field was lengthy and costly. Noble Pharma wasn't even founded until 1981. The companies that funded these early development efforts understandably charged some high prices to recover their expenses and finance further innovation. However, it's now 2024, and the industry has matured to the point that high prices need to be a thing of the past. Let me show you how implants are made here at our facility in Irvine, California. In this department, we design and manufacture the actual implant parts over 800 of them. Our engineers and machinists have been in this industry for many, many years. Much of our talent came from one of the world's best known implant manufacturers, located only 12 miles from here. For the last 17 years, Grant Bullis has been the motivated manager of all implant production. Previously, he spent eight years at Noble BioCare. His entire career has been spent mastering implant design and manufacture. In this machining room, we use Tornos Deco machines and some Citizen machines. The Tornos Deco machines are very costly at about $300,000 each. The Citizen machines cost about half of that. All boast very tight tolerances, measured in microns, as in a thousandth of a millimeter. Both have nearly identical resolution when it comes to their controllers. The encoders have a maximum resolution of 0.1 micron on the machine axis and 0.001 degrees for the C-axis. This is two orders of magnitude more than what's needed for an implant connection. It's easy to see why these are the favorite machines of all leading implant manufacturers. No one wants to use inferior machines when making the FDA-approved parts. Now what I'm saying is that most implant companies today use essentially the same TI-64 titanium material and the same high precision lathes to fabricate those implants. I'd love to tell you that my implants made from my machines are superior, but you'd be hard pressed to find an implant company that does it any differently. We can add all sorts of enhancements to the implant surface and it will osseo integrate. But even if you're nothing on that surface, it's still going to osseo integrate. The human immune system does not recognize titanium as a foreign object and therefore doesn't reject it. It embraces it. There are arguments for various prosthetic connections, but they've all been shown to work very, very well. Worldwide, there are several hundred companies producing implants. Why are there so many companies in the implant business? Well, the cost of manufacturing is so low and the sales price so high, it attracts investors like bears to honey. At Glidewell, we're extremely conscious of the cost of our dental appliances. The higher our prices are, the fewer patients can afford them and the less business we do. As a result, the careers of our employees stop growing. But we can produce beautiful implants inexpensively that have a 99% success rate and offer them to you for only $99, while the two largest selling brands will charge you in excess of $500. These two companies are estimated to control nearly 50% of all global implant sales. Maybe their manufacturing costs are much higher than ours, but I'll bet the opposite is true. Buying implants today should be more like buying a commodity. You should be able to go to a Home Depot and buy them by the pound. Obviously, that isn't possible. However, maintaining a large company supported entirely by profits from titanium implants is not sustainable, nor should it be. Patients who are potential customers of this implant service want to restore their teeth. They don't care what happens below the crown. 
Implant companies want you to think that the implant is what the restoration is all about. So they can charge more for these molly bolts. Patients want a crown, not an implant. The implant is just there to support the crown. I recognize that if you are trained by one of the two largest implant companies, you're probably not going to change. After all, the patient pays for the entire service. So why worry? I think all of us feel an obligation to do the best for the patient that we can. Every patient is somebody's father, mother, brother, or sister, and we should treat all patients like family. In America today, many patients are priced out of choosing dental implants. They just can't afford it. And the insurance companies don't want to cover the cost. Insurance companies will cover the cost of a three and a bridge, typically around $3,500. Our profession needs to price a complete implant restoration close to the price of a three unit bridge, then the insurance companies might consider coverage. 70 years ago, a bunny started this revolution. The next step is to give access to everyone that needs the service. Let's continue the revolution so that it spreads worldwide. We need to make implant restorations a standard for the masses, not just for the elite. Today, Noble Active charges $538 for their RP50. Zimmer Biomet charges $545 for their BNPT5411. Strauman SC is $509. Well, because Glidewell has the ability to manufacture all of its own titanium implant parts, as well as the implant crown, we can keep prices very low. I have a revolutionary idea. Why not pay just $99 per implant and then get 20% off your restoration, paying roughly $270 for a screw retained crown? Or you can pay nearly $500 for the implant and $340 for the crown. Essentially, I'm offering you a $300 to $400 discount on every implant you place, plus a $70 discount on every screw retained crown. But that's just good marketing. You can certainly choose to pay more. It's all up to you.